Okay, so this is the Coda 1.2, which was the cheapest laptop on TikTok, $69.99. It is very impressive for the money, uh, but it's not a particularly good laptop for running Windows uh, because of the low specs, because the processor, which is uh, bottom end seller on, but six years old from 2016. So uh, it does take a long time to update. Uh, it does take a long time to launch various things. But again, for $69.99, it is very impressive. I thought in this video, I'd see how I can speed it up, maybe install Windows 11 on it, uh, and also take it out of Windows 10 S mode. I'll explain a bit more about that in a moment. Uh, so from the videos that I watched, a lot of the influencers were saying it's a 1080 laptop. It isn't a 1080. The resolution is 1366 by 768. Don't worry about that effect that you get with the camera. That's just the camera on the display. It looks absolutely fine. Uh, it's not the best display, but it is perfectly sharp enough and it's pretty bright. Uh, not a big fan of the adapter, which is very, very thin, very easy to break. I thought I'd seen some videos where people had said that the power adapter was USB-C, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, the actual finish is pretty decent. It's got quite a nice sort of rubberized finish to it and it does feel reasonably premium for what it is. The trackpad is nice and responsive and multi-touch gestures work absolutely fine on it, so I'm pleased with that. If you want to plug this laptop into your TV, you're going to need a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter and then just a normal HDMI cable into your TV, like so. It supports dual monitor display, so you can see I can have it on this display and on this one. At the moment, they're showing the same content. But if I scroll down and pick extend these displays and keep the changes, now what I can do is rearrange the displays so that uh, one is below the other or above the other. So in this case, if I do apply, I can now scroll up to the top of my screen and it appears on this top monitor. So if I wanted to drag something that was on the bottom screen up to the top, I can. And then if I press the Windows key, you can see it comes up on here. Uh, and if I launch something like Microsoft Edge, you can see it comes up on this screen and I can drag it between the two. So dual screen display works absolutely fine. Let's switch into screen capture so I can show you a bit closer what I'm changing on the settings. The wallpaper it comes with this standard is horrible quality and makes it look like you've got a really terrible display. So if you right click and personalize, just pick anything from here and uh, it will look far, far better. So much, much sharper straight away. Let's try and speed a few things up. So let's press the Windows key and type in startup and click on that. And we can see what apps start on startup. So let's turn off Edge because we don't need that on startup. We don't need OneDrive. And I'm gonna leave on the Windows security as well. And let's go over to the left hand side here and type in performance and adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Adjust for best performance. So we're turning off all these extra effects that we really don't need. Apply and OK. And it will feel much snappier now. Just be more responsive. And now if we get rid of all this, press the Windows key again and type about. You can see about your PC. So if we scroll down, we can see that this is running Windows 10 Home in S mode. Now the advantage of Windows 10 Home in S mode, especially for kids uh, and people who can't be trusted to, to not open things they shouldn't on computers, this only means that you can install things from the Windows 10 store. So there's going to be loads and loads of Windows programs, games, apps, things like that that you can't get on the Windows 10 store. And if you really need to install those, you need to take it out of S mode and I'll show that in a minute. But there are plenty of things that are on here um, so if we put in something like Minecraft, we can install Minecraft from there. I'm not sure if you can do Roblox from here. Yep, so you can install that from the Windows Store. But say you wanted something like uh, Audacity, which is to do with editing audio. So you can see that the Audacity app doesn't come up. But what we can do is have a look on Edge and try Audacity and scroll down and we can find it here. And if we wanted to install it, we could download it. So download for Windows 32 and 64-bit, and download the installer. And we've got to open that file to install it in the way that we've been able to do with Windows for years and years. You'll see, for security and performance, Windows 10 in S mode runs Microsoft verified apps. So we can't actually install that as it is. So let's take this out of S mode. 
Again, I'm not saying this is something you have to do, but if you want to install something that you can't get to work on this device because of S mode, then you need to take it out of S mode. So again, type in about, and you will see an option. If we scroll down, change product key or switch to Windows 10 Pro. So if I click on that once, switch to Windows 10 Home, go to the Microsoft Store. Don't know why it said Pro before, but it's Home is the one that this will switch to. So you're literally just clicking on Get. And if it, in fact, if we just cancel that for a second and scroll down, uh, the reason you would stay in S mode, so as it says, added protection blocks the installation of ransom and malware. Optimal performance, S mode helps maintain system performance. Only verified applications. You still get Microsoft Edge, the browser, but if you wanna use the Google Chrome browser, that's where you need to switch out of S mode. So let's click that again. Looks like you need to sign in with a Microsoft account. Microsoft accounts are free to create, but I'm gonna use one that I already have. So click next. Let's try that again, hit get. So you can see I've got an install button here. Oh, so it said install, but now it says you're all set. So let's hit close. Let's go back in and see what it says. So we scroll up now, yeah, Windows 10 Home. So let's show you how the browser works. Uh, let's click on the Edge browser and uh, let's type in Lee PSP Video HDR and see what we get. There we go, or oh, not the video I was hoping for. Yeah, if we click on this one. So I'll leave this in real time so you can see how fast it gets to everything and how fast it's performing. You can see that plays pretty quickly. Uh, and if I go full screen, uh, well, it's playing at low resolution at the moment, but we can at least go up. Oh, it should, it will reach 720 after a few seconds. So we turn on stats for nerds. This will show us how many frames we're dropping. So two frames dropped. It doesn't seem to be dropping frames. Looks like it's running pretty smooth at 720 resolution, which is what the monitor on the laptop is. So reasonably pleased with that. So let's close all this down this and can see if we can install Windows 11. So if we tap the Windows key and start typing update, we can check for updates. I've let this do all the updates that it needs to do because while a Windows computer, especially a low spec Windows computer is updating, although there are more updates already available, uh, it means that it runs very, very slow. So I'm not gonna do those at the moment. I'm gonna see this, look, check hardware requirements, see if it will run Windows 11. So on this page, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there is a downloader which will check your computer to see if it can run Windows 11. I've already clicked on it and downloaded it, so it is in my downloads folder. Uh, and when we go into that downloads folder, let's just show you how I can now install this Audacity, uh, which is audio editing software, which is freely available. So we'll just hit yes and see how long it takes to install that. Shouldn't be very long at all. Hit next. It's actually running all right. What you will notice though is that um, Windows gets slower with time and this is a fresh install of Windows, so it might feel a bit snappy at the moment, but there will be times when it really slows down. So you can see I can finish this and I can launch Audacity and all of that seems to be working all right, really. There you go, so that's all launched up. So we can see that that's working, that's fine. But let's try and install this PC health check setup to see if we can install Windows 11 on it. Uh, accept the terms and install. So let's open that up. So let's check if this PC meets the system requirements. So hit check now. Interesting, it says my computer is a year old. <laughs> I didn't think it was. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. So it's saying the processor isn't supported. More about supported CPUs. So we scroll through this list, the first of the ends, which this processor is, is an N4000, which actually, this is much older than. Uh, so if I go to about, yeah, 3450. So it needs to be N4000 and above to officially support Windows 11. Well, I didn't buy it thinking it was a Windows 11 compliant device uh, and Windows 10 is fine. And also if I choose to install something else on this, I should always be able to go back to Windows 10 because Windows 10 has been activated on this device. So let's close all this down. Yeah, you can see from this list that everything else was compliant apart from the processor. Okay, so let's launch a few things and just see what it does. So let's launch the camera and see what the camera's like. Uh, it's a bit dark in here, so I'll put an LED light on 
And actually, for the light in here, that's not too bad. It's less grainy than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so let's close that down and open up files, open up the Windows Store, open up the email, open up Edge, press the uh, multitask view, and you can see that various different things are starting up. I haven't got any mail logged in at all at the moment. Microsoft Store is slowly getting there. Yeah, very slowly getting there, but it's working. Uh, and then the edge, I mean, I am multitasking on, you know, a very low spec computer. A uh, little bit jerky on the edge browser. I'm trying to scroll up and down with two fingers and yeah, it's not, it's not going smooth at all. And I guess it's because it's trying to do other things at once. You can see flicking through all the folders and things. Uh, it's definitely improved it, changing those settings, a bit of optimization but uh, it's still not a fast device. Uh, I suppose we could try something like Open Lara, which is Tomb Raider running in a browser and see what that does. In fact, let's close a few things down if I'm gonna do that. Close window. Uh, so I need the Edge browser open, but I don't need Mail open at the moment. And it's this one. And Play the game, WebGL build with demo level. Plug in my Xbox 360 controller and that's recognized straight away. So we go straight into the game. That feels all right, that feels quite snappy. Can I go full screen on that? Oh yeah, go full screen at the top. And let's look left and right, bit jerky there. And if I start running, yeah, it's not altogether smooth. I could lower the resolution on this. So detail levels, uh, oh yeah, we're on high on everything. Let's get down to medium, resolution 75, and apply that, and then go back into the game. And hopefully, it should run pretty smooth, even full screen. Yeah, I'll take that. Guns out. Let's get up here and have a look round. I think there's some dogs in here somewhere. I've got the audio turned on at the moment, but I don't know if you're getting it through the screen. Here we go, look, there's some bats. Yeah, to be fair, that's pretty good. I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, so in other videos, I'm going to test Linux, test some retro gaming, um, and also Chrome OS Flex, because I believe they'll work a lot better than Windows will on this sort of spec. But actually, for my £70, I'm very impressed. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.